In this training video, we're going to look at a feature called Shape Operations in Microsoft Visio. To use this feature, you need at least two shapes, which are either on top of each other or somehow positioned where they, they slightly overlap. So here we've got a triangle, which is overlapping a, a square in this example to form a, a custom shape. So with these two shapes overlapping, we can now use the operations feature, which has been added to the quick access toolbar. So the quick access toolbar at the top, you can customize it. And this has been customized to add what's called operations. And in the latest version, when you go, when you try and find it and customize it on the quick access toolbar, it's called geometric operations. Older versions is called operations as we can see here. So with the shapes overlapping, now I'm going to select both of them. Now operations feature lights itself up so it needs at least two shapes. I click the drop down arrow and now you've got different options of how to use it. There's lots of them here. We're going to start off with union. So what's happened now, the two shapes which were overlapping have become one. You can do other things. So for example, I could have a square a circle inside of a square and when I use operations in this example I'm now going to use the feature called combine which will take a hole out of the middle of the square so because these circles on top of the square it will now make a hole in the square combine and there we go so you can create all sorts of different and unique shapes other examples, I could have a circle to make it a bit bigger. Then do a second one, I'm going to control D the circle, just make it a bit smaller. Something like that. And just make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Now I'm going to combine both of them. Go to the operations and fragment this time. Now I can take the features apart and I'm now left with a nice moon shape using two circles and you can actually create some quite nice shapes with these moons by pressing control D escape that make it a bit smaller and you can then position these shapes and create some kind of unique shape. So could do another one, control D, make it a little bit smaller, something like that, a bit smaller maybe. I can move it into position, something like that. And you've got a quite a nice little shape there. And that's using operations and the example here with the, the custom shape using fragment was a circle. It's a circle which formed the moon and then the little moon kind of shape. Just copy three times to get them smaller and put one inside the other. So you can create all kinds of custom shapes. These can all be changed in color if I wanted to. I could change a color to a different color if I wanted to. Something like that. And this is what operations can do. So it creates custom shapes when you've got two or more shapes then which you use together in some way. But this completes the training video on operations whereby you need at least two shapes which are somehow either overlapping on top of each other or ones inside of another like we did with the circle where we fragmented. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.